<laughs> what up, what up? Alright guys, this week, this week is going to be torture. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> middle of the winter in the med now yeah so there are a lot of storms blowing through yeah. all the time yeah. so yeah. there's no ceiling <laughs> happening but the cool thing is this particular week is interesting because there's a pretty strong northern wind but it's coming with sunshine yeah which is weird yeah. normally it comes with a lot of rain um but yeah this weekend should be relatively warm relatively sunny but very very windy so we're not going sailing but we're going to take the opportunity to challenge ourselves in a different way one of our favorite things about sailing to places and sailing around the world is actually the places that we end up in and we love exploring those places so the next couple of days are going to be a perfect opportunity to explore menorca so this morning we picked up mountain bikes and we're going to go off on a four day biking ride around the island. Have you ever gone mountain biking before? I've never done this before. Have you ever biked before? A few times. In Florida, <laughs> where it's flat. But it's not only mountain biking, guys. We're going to do electric mountain biking. The interesting challenge that's going to happen is, for one, it's the middle of winter, so everything is probably going to be closed. And two, there's no camping allowed on Menorca, so mm -hmm. we will have to find hotels to stay in for every night of our trip. Especially because our bikes are electric, so we mm -hmm. have to find a way to charge them every night. Luckily, because it's the middle of the winter, they're super cheap. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to be able to stay in some pretty nice hotels for next to nothing because no tourists are here right now. Yeah. Um, it should be fun. We are packing super light, two, two small backpacks each, and we should be, I think it's going to take us about four days. We're hoping yeah, to do about 50-ish kilometers a day because it's a 200 kilometer trail. And that way we can like, you know, it's her first time mountain biking. We are going to be trying to film it, which means it goes slower. And we also don't really want to feel rushed. Yeah, yeah I'm excited. Me so too. we got one more good night of sleep on Uma. And uh, tomorrow, bright and early, we are hitting the trail. Just left Uma and we are heading along the key towards the start of the trail. Hopefully we don't fall in the ocean before we get there. Wow! It's freaking cool. Oh Jesus. Um Dan, I think I'm <laughs> my chain came off. <laughs> yeah, I was like I was about I was about to go up uphill and it was just like I can't pedal much more. Right. Yeah. Pick it up, now pedal. Done. Back on. Okay. It's that simple. Yeah, it's weird that it does that. Like, it clicks every time. It keeps, like, clicking. So, we're not even... We're not even in the trail yet, and my leg is already cramping. So, I'm stopping before the trail so that we, I can actually stretch. Because as soon as we start pedaling, every time I put my foot down, I just like tense up. So yeah, stretching is important before a bike ride. Lesson learned. Yeah, I think it's better. Alright, right, guys. Today, we are circumnavigating Menorca. <laughs> <laughs> but like, not on our boat. <laughs> it's the perfect big small island. Um, yeah, we just left Mahon this morning and uh, did a little bit of road riding to get to here. We got the beach on the north coast and we're about to jump on a trail called the... Cami de Cavals. I practiced this. Cami de Cavals. Yeah. It's the trail of horses. Yeah. And that's because, so it's a, it's a trail that goes all around Menorca. It's 186 kilometers. So that's about 115-ish yeah. miles. And the reason why it's called that is because it's a way to connect all the fortresses and all the uh, watchtowers yep. along the, the coast of the island. And it was patrolled by soldiers on horses, hence the name, the Trail of Horses, Cami de Cavaz. And, and these, these are, are new, electric mountain bikes. New bikes for us. I'm not used to mountain biking on anything this big and heavy. So, and today uh, we're just gonna like take it easy and uh, get used to the bikes and get you used to biking, riding off of tarmac. Yeah. I think it's yeah. funny how I'm new at biking and then we're just gonna go all out yeah. and just go on the hardest trail in Menorca. Let's rock and roll. Let's rock I'm really and roll. excited. So 
So this is a horse trail, but you can't bring horses. here my foot like I was trying to get to the pedal and then it just like I stepped on the rock instead and then the back decided to not do the same thing okay I'm good it's so cool and now it seems like we're in some sort of forest it's a completely different climate it's much cooler I was about to uh, take off my long sleeve and then we got into this section and now it's cool and squishy and comfortable I like that <laughs> I could do this one all day and now for the step this is what we practice oh, There is no way I am riding those steps. I am pushing my bike all the way down. <laughs> there we go. What do you what do you think so far? <laughs> it's hard. It's a good time. It's harder than I thought because like we were talking to the guy at the shop and he told us which part of the sketchy part and yeah. the technical section and the difficult section. This is supposed to be the easy part. This is and it's the hardest thing I've ever done on the, a bike. The whole trail is actually pretty advanced mountain biking. Uh, <laughs> What's happening to you? <laughs> That's the one. <laughs> like, both legs are cramping. Oh my I need goodness. more bananas in my life. <laughs> <laughs> it's like bike a kilometer, fall off, bike a kilometer, open a gate, bike a kilometer, stretch out the cramps. <laughs> Emergency massage mode. Well, that was that was something. Okay, I think I think I'm ready to continue now. <laughs> I think my legs are uh, good to go Back for for a few more walk. kilometers at least. Hey, so uh, I'm gonna be a sec. Second casualty of the day, my chain broke. Yeah, I also broke the microphone. The little uh, lightning port that's supposed to be clipped right there just snapped right off. So, $50 microphone is broken. This isn't supposed to come off. This is a really skinny chain. I've never seen a bike chain this skinny before. So they did give us like this little awesome little bike tool. It um, has pretty much everything we need, including a chain breaker. So I've never used one quite this small before. Hopefully it's strong enough. Breaking a chain almost is never just breaking a chain. Um, I did bend the sprocket a little bit too. So my middle gears are jumping. Isn't there a saying where if you're not, you're not if you're not breaking something, the adventure is not strong enough? Uh, I think that's just generally in life. Yeah. If you're not breaking or failing, then you're not pushing hard enough. Exactly. Uh, we're good to go. Uh, we're, good to go. we're bandaged back together and we can limp off the trail and get on the highway where we're not gonna push them quite as hard. All right, let's keep going. Jump 
Ah, we made it to the road. <laughs> yeah. Um, Today was exhausting. Today was exhausting. We've only done about 25 kilometers on the watch, so about 30 total. And we have about 20 more to go before the end of this section where we we're kind of supposed to make it today. But we're it's, 20, it's 25 kilometers down the trail and it's 26 kilometers on the road. So we're just going to take the highway. Let's go. Heading to the hotel, food, shower, sleep, and then stretch, rinse, and repeat tomorrow. Yeah. Good job. Oh, yeah. Woo, woo. Yeah. Almost there. Almost there. We made it before nighttime. <laughs> High five. Although the second half was uh, much faster. Yeah. Surprisingly though, I still have more than half of my battery left and Dan's is uh, very much dead. Super dead. Super dead. He did say yours had a bigger battery, so. Yeah, yeah mine has a bigger battery for a smaller bike, that's impressive. Yeah, it is. <laughs> so we made it in the room and we realized that we're way too tired to wait at a restaurant for food so we ordered pizza got takeout pizza yeah I'm, I'm excited for tomorrow we're gonna start bright and early yeah. so that we have all day and to get it done you have a pretty good understanding of like your capability the bike's capability generally what the trail conditions are going to be like yeah so i mean i think you did pretty freaking good for your first day of mountain biking <laughs> you were sending it hard <laughs> and you it was died, interesting so. yeah i didn't die cheers cheers good morning everyone today is the start of day two we are on the road for about an hour and then we're going to head into the start of the mountain bike trail. We also have a group of bikers, real bikers, not like cheaters like us with electric bikes. <laughs> we have a group of real bikers uh, in front of us, uh, probably doing a round of Menorca, but they have city bikes, so they're light, they're fast. This is where electric bikes is fucking awesome because on the downhills, we can't keep up with the actual road bikes, but on the uphills, we can almost pass them because we can just cruise and they're just like sweating it out on the uphills. So, that's kind of funny. We keep catching up to the same four road bikers. All right, people. Ah, oh, day two. Butt cheeks. We made it past the gate and at the start of the Cami de Cavaz trail. Yeah, we had uh, about an hour ride this morning down the highway, um, but it went by pretty quick. So yeah, we just got some Gatorade or Power a rate, version whatever. of and I'm going to chug that all day. And Should hopefully today's gonna to be a better day than yesterday yeah. when it comes to cramping. Hopefully. We did 15 kilometers this morning down the highway and then, or on the paved road, and now we've got about 15 down the trail. Yeah. And then there's a section that we've been warned not to bike down because it's just too rocky and it's too like stair steppy. And yeah, we would be carrying the bike. I mean, we carried the bike a lot yesterday <laughs> and imagine. It would be, it'd be like 15 kilometers of just pushing the bike. Yeah. Come on, come on. Stop skipping. Don't skip. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. is gonna be just a montage of Kika pushing a bike.
They're just like, the spacing is just awful. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> no, it didn't break anything. We're getting really close to being done this section of trail though. <laughs> Dude, you crushed that last bit. Well, that's oh, it for man. this section, guys. We're at Cala Morel. We're done for the day. We're going to hop on the road again and head to Cit Citadel, Citadella, something like that. I don't remember the name of the town. Ciutadella. Yeah. Yeah. Our next, Your destination uh, is on the right. Hotel. Yeah. There's a plug and There's everything. Well, guys, <laughs> dinner is we served. Arrived. It's six o'clock, and in typical Spain fashion, no restaurants open until eight, and we are not waiting around for that. So tonight's dinner is hashtag sponsored by Burger King. <laughs> officially passed the halfway point. Judging by the topo maps, the south coast looks a little bit flatter. Hopefully. Yeah, I'm, exci I'm excited to uh, bite more and push less. Yeah. That would be ideal. <laughs> That'd be nice. Yeah. We've done about 100 kilometers so far and we have, because and that was from Mahon all the way to Citadella, and now we have about 100 kilometers to go back the other way. Um, yeah, so halfway point. Yeah, halfway point. Sure. And hopefully we'll be doing more trail miles and less road miles. Look, horses on the path of horses. Do you look at that? <laughs> Maybe we picked the wrong uh, horsepower. <laughs> <laughs> You up, man. Oh man, this is not. <sighs> you can ride for like 10 feet and then we might have to push again. <laughs> How's it going? This is more exhausting than yesterday. It's radically this flatter area. Oh man. I wiped, we didn't get it on camera, but I did this like epic fall as I was trying to attempt to go up a rock that was way above my skull. And I just like fell on my hip. You're gonna have a nice bruise and from that tomorrow. Everything just hurts. Go, little pusher, go. Oh no. Ow! Oh! Oh! Ah. oh. 
Oh shit! Oh my god! Oh my god! No, I didn't die. What did you do? My pedal got like. Just like hit your shin. My pedal just like. I had my pedal too low. Oh. Is it bleeding? It's okay, we're walking the next section anyway because it's straight downhill. Uh, <laughs> oh my deck. I wonder if I can continue today. We're almost done. Like three, four more kilometers and we'll be done. We we've it's been like, we've done like 20 on trail today. It's like I feel like on like yesterday I could have done this. But mentally I can't. I'm so beat. I'm, oh, it's like I, I hit a wall. You know, and every like I make so many mistakes now. Yeah, like it's... I should turn left when I turn right and my pedal stays down and so it gets like hooked on a log and then it just launches me forward. Yeah, you've hit your mental wall and physical wall today. Did you just hug a tree? Uh, do you want me to help you or do you want me to video? <laughs> Did you just catch a tree to yeah, avoid coming down off this cliff? Jump and I was like on the wrong side. And I couldn't, I couldn't slow down fast enough. So <laughs> I decided to aim for the tree. That's, uh, tactic. that's one strategy. It's a safety measure. Nice, mind your pedals. Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> Hells yeah, you did. Ooh. Hiya. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nope. <sighs> we made it. End of day three. A little closer. A little closer. No, like just towards me. <sighs> Alright, there. One more because this is no. sand. Yeah, you're done. Oh, you're just gonna have to sit on the sand. I think by far this was the <gasps> hardest, honestly. Not because the trail was harder, but because mentally we were already exhausted. Today was At least me. fun though. Like it was, it was hard, but like the amount of cool stuff that we saw today. It was really, like the trail conditions just changed every corner. It was like yeah. down in a forest, up into like along like the limestone cliffs along the south coast. Like it was just absolutely beautiful. Yeah, I agree. It was worth it. But it was a Whoop. long day. Yeah, how's your seat, seat treating you? The most stable. My watch is my, dead. My watch just thought I fell again. Well, Terrible. I technically did. <laughs> what does your watch say? How many how many kilometers have we done today? Uh, twenty six. Twenty six. Twenty six. Almost 27. Yeah. At some point, I think earlier in the beginning, at some point, I was, my my mental state was so low because yeah. all we were doing was pushing the bikes, pushing the bikes. Yeah. And I was like, if we're going to be doing this all day, I might as well give up because I can't push, like, that, that's not why we were here. You yeah. know, I didn't want to push the bike all day. And then as soon as I kind of like started thinking that, the road opened up and it got like, prettier and prettier and some parts were hard but it was like it was 70% nice and 30% hard not the other way around
<laughs> oh, it's so pink. It's like pink and white. <sighs> I'm so tired. I'm ready for food. How are you feeling on the last day? Last day. Last stretch. Oh, I'm actually quite excited to be done with this journey. Like it's, it's, it's a nice journey, it's fun, but yeah, I'm ready to be home. We have about, what, 45 kilometers left? The last long stretch, and then we'll be home. We're back on Uma. Oh, let's pick today a great day. Well, we made it to the beach. So we are literally picking up where we left off yesterday. And we have about 45 kilometers, minus five, because we just did five, 40 kilometers left to do. And then we'll be back in Maon where we started the trail. So this is the last day, guys. This is the last stretch. Uh, it's going to be long and powerful and cold. But it should be good. <laughs> One minute into the ride. <sighs> okay. Let's try this again. Hopefully. Oh, it gets so much worse. There's this little this little section of uh, footpath. I was doing good riding this bit, uh, and then we made it to this bit. Use the bike as your like third leg. Woohoo! <laughs> I made it through. <laughs> All right. Just one more taste of adrenaline. Sure, it doesn't go that way. Go, 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 go. Nice. We've, how long is this, uh, how long is the trail overall? 200K. So we, we did 185-ish, I think. Five, yeah. 185K. Yeah. We only have like five more to go. Yeah. And we'll be at the very end. Yeah. Oh. How are your legs? Oh my God, my legs are so sore because I've learned today, on the fourth day of a four-day journey, that it's easier to stand up <laughs> when you're going uphill. Like, I knew about standing up downhill, but like, I was always sitting down going uphill and just using just like the electric power and just like pedaling as hard as I could. 
And then today, Din was like, yeah, you should try standing up because you have more balance with the bike and game changer. You've been crushing it today. It was a game changer. Today, I had a lot of fun. Today was a lot of fun, actually. We did a little bit of pushing, a little bit of frustrating sections, but for the most part, it's been, it, it's been really fun because I think my skills got better and I'm, I've, I'm actually at the point where... Sorry, I'm very much out of water. <laughs> Yeah. You're at the point where what? <laughs> I'm actually at the point where I'm learning new things. Hell yeah, you did. Yeah. Did you guys clean up just for us? <laughs> that was fun. Awesome. Yeah. I think we made it before the rain too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, this was this was such a crazy trip, guys. It was, it I'm was... exhausted. My my inner thighs are killing me. Yeah. Like my seat bones. When was the last time we biked? In the end, it was worth it. I think I've learned. You're why. killing it. You're it. crushing it. Yeah. Yeah. This so you're like your first time ever mountain biking. You're just like, it's like full speed. Oh, up these by the hills. fourth day, by the last day, I was like on it. Yeah. It was it was quite enjoyable. The first, second, and third day <laughs> were kind of just going up on that mountain. It was just my hurdle. It was challenging too, because like at any point we could have bailed, and we were only yeah. like a two-hour bike ride back to the boat because you could just hop on the highway and just maybe three yeah. hours. But yeah, it was almost too easy to give up. But yeah, I think I'm the kind of person where I would have been so angry at myself if I had given up and I would have wanted to come back to do it again until yeah. I finished it because I get a lot of satisfaction when I finish something right yeah. if I have a challenge and I actually finish it then I am so I'm proud of myself and that's a big high for me anyway that was it was a lot of fun I I would not recommend doing this if you've never mountain biked before <laughs> Definitely not. Maybe start on the road <laughs> and then the electric, work your way up. The electric bikes were pretty sweet, though. They had three power settings. The first one kind of got rid of the fact that it was a heavy electric mountain bike and turned it into like a regular mountain bike. And then the second level kind of turned it into more like a, a road bike. Like you put street tires on it. It felt pretty light. And the third level made it feel like you were on like some carbon fiber high-end street bike, only you were going up the side of a mountain. Like you still have to pedal and it still work, but... Yeah, I would definitely have an electric bike for road stuff yeah like, i think that was well if you don't have to carry it up a staircase exactly. every like 10 minutes <laughs> this bike is so heavy compared to a regular mountain bike they've got to be three times heavier if you have to carry a bike if the if the if the terrain is bad enough that you have to carry it don't go electric like the weight becomes so much that i feel like you're losing more energy yeah than if you were just carrying a normal bike but i think it was overall a lot of fun um i think that's this that's it challenge. for this episode and for this adventure hope you liked it and hope you're ready for way more crazy adventures in the future because there's always a balance between sailing and other stuff that we do sailing <laughs> is just how we get to the cool places yeah exactly i desperately need to show <laughs> I'm surprised you can sit beside me. <laughs> All, right. All right, guys. Cheers. <laughs>